I'm very excited to present our next uh, section of the agenda. Uh, we have a parent chat, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to um, pass it over to Steve Nish, our communications manager, and uh, Amy uh, Miramontes Franco, who is also the communications specialist too, who are going to introduce uh, the family that is going to be presenting to us today. Thank you so much, Steve and Amy. Great, thank you, Charlene. Hi, everybody. Um, real honor to be with you, and I uh, always love this part uh, when we get the the family. And I think I think the family is uh, muted, but we'll. You know, it's okay. All right, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah. So just wanted to uh, say thanks, everybody, for uh, for having us here. And uh, as I said, it is an honor to be able to speak with you. It's really actually a privilege in my position to be able to talk to the families and. <laughs> uh, and see, uh, hear the great life-changing stories. Uh, it's really a morale booster, as you just saw in the presentation from Delisa and Monica. The numbers definitely show a lot, but it's, uh, I, I feel like it's such a, a privilege to be able to hear from the families and uh, hear their stories. Uh, really is inspirational and uh, makes me really appreciate all the great work that you do, and I'm so, so lucky to be a part of, of it. Um, so as in previous summits, we've uh, had families uh, and we've had uh, panel families to talk. And this is actually the first time that I've done a live interview with a family. And uh, so we're, uh, <laughs> she's so cute. I know <laughs> Zoe there is gonna steal the show. Um, but I, uh, uh, now, you know, doing this interview uh, in front of, of course, all these folks who have professional extensive training doing motivational interviewing and uh, reflective listening, but uh, they're a charitable and forgiving bunch. So I am not ju non judgmental. So I give thanks to them in advance for that. Um, but yeah, I just want to introduce the family. The uh, dad is Dustin, Dustin and there's Jillian, the mom, and uh, there's Zoe who, um, is one year old today. Yeah. <laughs> today. So we owe an extra debt of gratitude to this family for sharing this special day with us. Here we go. <laughs> Happy birthday, Zoe. All Just right, I'll turn it over to Amy, uh, who will introduce our uh, parent coach. Great. Well, thank you, Steve. And thank you again, Dustin, Jillian, and Zoe for joining us today. We're really happy to have you here and have you be willing to share your home visiting story with us. Um, but before we really do dive into your story and learning a little bit more about you guys, we do want to take a few moments to recognize your parent coach, Graciela Jimenez, who partnered with you guys throughout the entire time you were in the program. So Graciela, I welcome you to this chat and thank you for being willing to be a part of this quick portion of it. Um, I'm hoping you're willing to share with us a little bit about your experience working with this family and also a little bit about what led you to connect us here at LABBN with this family so that we could all be here today to hear their stories. So Graciela, I'll turn it to you. Of course. Uh, thank you so much, Amy. And again, happy birthday, Zoe. We're so happy to see you. Um, this is such an amazing opportunity and, um, you know, just really happy to be here today. So. Um, I think that for me, honestly, as a home visitor, there are some really difficult moments, you know, that we sometimes have. And honestly, I remember going to one of the visits with the family and then just feeling like so enlightened. And so um, I felt I felt like I was I had. Um, what's that saying? Like your fires reignited right to continue going. And so immediately I was thinking I have to like reach out to Steve. I have to connect him with this family. And I think that everyone's going to have an opportunity to know exactly why I felt that way. Um, and so honestly, it's just I was very grateful to them for always being so welcoming, so open and also so flexible because, you know, our nine month visit had to be virtual. Uh, and it was such a joy to just, I mean, Zoe is so cute. <laughs> She's such a happy baby. So it's been such a, a great opportunity to work with this family. Can you hear us at all? Yes. Cool, cool. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> yeah, um, so let's hear from you actually. That'd be great. Uh, why don't we talk a little bit, maybe if you could just sort of start, um, uh, say a few things about even before Welcome Baby and before this whole experience, kind of like what you were feeling, um, 
during pregnancy or even beforehand thinking about parenthood and what lies ahead? Um, well, during pregnancy, I mean, obviously crippling fear. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, she's our first one and we've waited, uh, I'm in, I'm, I'm 40. She, my, my wife's going to be 40 this year. So we waited a while. We, we, ha we really had an opportunity to enjoy a life together as a married couple before rushing into having kids. And I think that really kind of created a foundation for us to be able to handle have raising a child. And, mm -hmm. Um, and so it was something that um, we we actively waited, but once once we decided to 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 stop w uh, waiting, uh, she came along right away, and it was it was really great. And um, whenever we found out that there was a program like Welcome Baby, uh, we jumped at it just because we wanted as much information yeah. as possible from the experts. <laughs> And this was at like a, a convention at um, at uh, Valley, Valley Press. Press. Uh, that's where we we learned about a ton of programs, and Welcome Baby just sounded wonderful. I mean, the opportunity to have a nurse visit uh, after you've come home from the hospital <laughs> with your baby, because you know, first time parents, there's no handbook for this. There's <laughs> yeah. no manual. There's no manual. <laughs> so, and and all you know, and. He, I mean, maybe some people have written them, but you know, all babies are different. So to have a nurse actually, you know, in your home, in your situation with your baby, you know, to answer questions and help guide you and, and to help know, you know, what milestones uh, we should be looking for. And, you know, and, and if she isn't reaching it, you know, it's okay because all babies are different. You know, it's just to have a knowledgeable person visiting with us um, was really wonderful. And, um, and I mean, and, and we also got great feedback as we were like, oh, she's hitting all of her milestones. Great. We made it. <laughs> it was really reassuring as well, you know, so, um, so that was wonderful. A and we also learned some things like, oh, is she doing this yet? And you're like, oh, we didn't even know to be doing that with her. So now we'll do it and see if she, you know, um, it was, there was something about, could, could she reach in and grab something out of a container? We hadn't tried that yet. So we, we even tried, that was on the nine month visit. We even tried that live, uh, you know, with Graciela. And uh, she did it. We're like, we didn't did, even yeah. know our baby could do that. How cool is that? <laughs> but, there's, yeah. but there's a moment that I would imagine, you know, first time parents all feel, you know, when you're at the hospital, you're sort of waited on hand and foot. Like this is okay. You're having a baby. This is what's going on. And you get all, you have all these experts around you. But when you get home and you close that door for the first time, there's this moment of like, you're on your own now. Yeah. And that can be overwhelming to a lot of people. Um, and, you know, it definitely was profound for us. Like, okay, we've been waiting for this for a long time. Here we are now. What do we do? Like, you know, so... <laughs> Um, to have a program like this uh, to where it was just like it was people would come and have Grisela come in and, and kind of be like, nope, you're doing it right. Keep going. Keep going. We're like, okay, this is good. We should feed her a couple times a, month, a week, right? <laughs> no, maybe a little bit more. Uh, so that's good. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, there's so many questions that we have uh, as a first time parent and to, uh, to have a resource like this was very valuable yeah. to us. Well, and even also because I, you know, I had to go back to work, um, you know, after after my maternity leave was up and um, and I wasn't sure, you know, what to do as far as, you know, like any rituals with leaving her and um, and Graciela brought a, brought a book uh, and this little lovey bear and a little heart. And I still I still sleep with the lovey bear and give that to her in the morning. And, you know, um, even though I'm still home. You know? <laughs> but, That's great. Um, yeah, so just I, I, I love that, you know, so when I did go to work, um, I, I would leave that with her in the morning so she, you know, ha have something from mama, you know, because that's, that's always a difficult transition. <laughs> for know, sure, for sure. And was that something that you talked about? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like me. <laughs> did, yeah. the, did you talk about that with Graciela then, the, just sort of the transition of, you know, the back to work and... Yeah, yeah, because um, early on I let her know that I was going to be going back to work. So the next visit, she she brought um, she brought that for me, which was wonderful. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so it's it's just been a really wonderful experience all in all. It's like, um, I mean, for us it was a no brainer to sign up for it. Like, why wouldn't you sign up for <laughs> for right. having you know a nurse come into your home for a few check ins after you know after you've come home with the baby? Right. <laughs>
Hi, yeah. She's got a little dress on today. Yeah. Oh, super cute. That's a great birthday dress right there. <laughs> yeah. Unicorn and all. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I should mention to everybody too, uh, if you want to, we don't have a lot of time here, but if you want to put a question into the Q&A, uh, we'll see if we can get to that at the end. Um, <laughs> uh, we, in addition to wanting to chat with the family, uh, we have kind of a special surprise here. I know um, in the uh, previous summits, you've seen you know inspirational speeches and great words from the leaders of all the agencies, and always a fantastic presentation on data from Delisa and Monica and you know, other great parent panels. A lot of inspiring stories, but we've never actually had a musical guest until today so uh, i wanted to allow dustin to play us a tune that actually he wrote for zoe and uh is sort of related to related to parenthood and, and a lot about uh what you all do out there so uh i'm gonna do the well they Grisella was like, please play the one that you played when I came over there for the house for the first time. <laughs> the one that made her cry. <laughs> yes, the one that made her cry. <laughs> All right, so um, the inspiration for this song, it's called Waiting to See. And I came up with the idea of it a few months after she was born and just looking at her, wondering what she's going to be. Like, there's so many opportunities that is in front of her and... And we're just sort of, you know, kind of waiting to see what what her passions are and, and everything. And so came up with this song. <laughs> Welcome, sweet Zoe, to this blue world, my sweet little girl, my sweet little girl. I want to meet you, bring you in close, my sweet little rose, my sweet Zoe Rose. I'll calm you in crying the best that I can. Now hold your hand. Your little hand, I'll rock you to sleep so your dreams can unfurl. My sweet little girl, my sweet little girl, I'm waiting to see now what you're gonna be a painter, a doctor, a work in comedy. Oh, will you be the one that unites the world all I know? You'll always be my sweet little girl. I'll be there when you get home. From your first day of school, I'll catch you when you jump in a swimming pool. I'll brace you when you ride your first bike down the street. I'll tie your shoelaces on your tiny feet. We'll go to the park to let the dogs run around. I'll kiss your owie when you fall on the ground. We'll go trick or treat and you won't be scared because mommy and daddy will always be there i'm waiting to see now what you're gonna be a painter a doctor a working comedy or will you be the one that unites the world all i know you'll always be my sweet little girl Try not to smother you, give you your space. Though I never want to see a frown on your smiling face. We'll have slumber parties with all your friends. But I'll be there to make sure no boys can get in. You'll be all in Paris of me and your mom. Cause we'll take a bunch of pictures when you go to the prom. When you go off to college, 
will be so proud. Climb upon our rooftops and sing it aloud. I'm waiting to see now what you're gonna be. A painter, a doctor, a work in comedy. Oh, will you be the one that you Nights the world all I know. You'll always be my sweet little girl. See you grow into a woman who's passionate and strong, who stands up for what's right and fights what is wrong. I'll walk you down the aisle when you're dressed in white. So I can watch you love the person you feel is right. I wanna see you be mama so you can conceive how you could ever love someone more than you believe. I'm gonna send you a message that I'm up above that'll wrap you in love. It'll wrap you in love. I'm waiting to see now what you're gonna be. A painter, a doctor, a working comedy. Oh, will you be the one that unites the world all I know? You'll always be. Yes and no. You'll always be. Oh, and I know you'll always be. My sweet little girl. Yes. Justin, how did you make me cry again? <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing this. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. That was really fantastic. I. So, uh, you know, if anyone out there wants to learn, uh, uh, guitarbydustin at gmail.com. It's what I do. Excellent. Um, it's fun. To, uh, I play for her every day. I think music is so important for um, just the development of, of children. Uh, I mean, I, I get to see it in, uh, every day, really. So Absolutely. Yeah. One of the big, you know, one of the phrases is talk, read, sing that we uh, emphasize here in, the, in home, our home sitting programs. So uh, this is, that's fantastic. I wanted to mention that I have, I wish to be in front of all these hundreds of people and have the roaring applause that I know is happening right now because I actually have this magical device that is able to channel the reaction and sentiments from, from everybody. So, so there we go. You hear that? Yay! Yay! <laughs> and there's probably also, probably some of this going on too, I imagine, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely, we're, uh, we're like, that's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm watching the comments here, Steve, and I am seeing a couple of people saying, I'm glad we're not on video and uh, <laughs> seeing us crying. So, and Graciela did uh, warn us when we had the chance to connect with you earlier that it was um, a tearjerker. So thank you. It was a beautiful, beautiful song. Thank you for sharing that with us. We greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, unfortunately, just to, as I imagined, our time together for this quick chat is quickly coming to an end. Um, but before that, I want to go ahead and give the audience a chance to ask any questions that they may have for this family. So I know Kayla and Jenna have been monitoring the chat for us. So at this time, I will ask um, you guys to ask any questions that the audience may have submitted. And for all of you listening out there, if you have any questions you'd like to ask them right now would be a good time to submit those via the uh, Q&A function or the chat box. Okay, so just go into the chat box, everyone is going to move, and we want to wish Zoe a happy birthday, we love the song, I think a lot of people said I wish you could see their faces, I think everyone's got a big smile just like I do. Um, one question that I do see is, is this song on YouTube? Uh, no, not yet. Um, I, I haven't recorded it, um, uh, but yeah, I've heard, uh, I've only played it really for a couple of people, it's kind of more more of a personal thing uh, for her and I, but um, I think uh, every time I do play it for someone, they that's the first question they ask. <laughs> so um, uh, if you uh, want to keep tabs on us, um, um, I'm actually in a band called Stage 11, 
Um, and so I, I think if we, we do any kind of uh, recording of that, I will, uh, I will post that on our Facebook page uh, and let you guys know. We'll be sure to share it as well. Thank you. Excellent. And then, uh, we do have one more question here. How is Zoe going to be celebrating her first birthday? Uh, we're uh, we're doing a uh, a Zoom party uh, later on tonight. She was born at six fifteen p.m., so we're gonna do from like six to six forty. And at at six fifteen, we're gonna sing Happy Birthday with everyone and give her a cake and see what she does with it. I'm actually gonna be ma making the cake today, <laughs> so we'll see how messy. Um, and then throughout the day, we're gonna have some some one on one Zoom chats with uh, with the grandparents because um, we've never done a Zoom party and it's gonna be fairly short and, and quite a few friends and family members on there. So we definitely want to have the one-on-one -on -one time too for, for family. Right. So, that's great. Yeah. I'm I mean, going to go ahead and send it over to Jaina as well. Jaina has a couple of questions. Okay. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Dustin. One of the questions is, do you have any suggestions for engaging fathers and home visiting? <sighs> wow. Um, any, any suggestions for engaging fathers? Um, I, I, you know, there's so many different types of people out there. So I know what works for me um, is um, just, uh, I feel trying to let the father know that it's not com all on them, that they have resources, that they have something that they can uh, turn to. You don't have to feel like you have to have all the answers because you don't. So um, to, to make it feel okay, for us tough guys to turn to someone else uh, and get some help um, is is kind of a it's it's um, it, it's very comforting and uh, rewarding. Hi. So um, I I you know yeah I mean I, I would say that just you know really kind of convey to them that that there is people out there there are resources out there and she likes to grab my glasses. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I have two more questions. The first is, was there something in particular that Graciela said to you that has helped you feel more confident as parents? Um, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> that, I mean, really, that's, that, that was so, um, hi, sweetie. <laughs> that, oh, you want his glasses. <laughs> you know, um, that was so reassuring um for us um it, for to have someone with her background to come in and kind of assess the situation and and be like actually just keep going keep doing this and and that, that was, was that yeah. was so helpful uh for us um you know because i would like to think if we weren't doing it right she would be like hey don't do it this way do it this way <laughs> Great. And then the last one, what was the most beneficial part of being part of the program? I mean, I, I think uh, the reassurance <laughs> was, was very beneficial, um, you know, and just knowing that we had that resource that, you know, if she came and checked in and there was something we weren't thinking about or that we weren't doing that she would, you know, help lead us down the right path or give us resources. Um, so it's just, uh, yeah, just knowing that we had, that we had an expert to lean on that wasn't just, um, that wasn't just, you know, Googling, <laughs> you know, it was tailored to us in our situation and, you know, like actually, you know, one-on-one -on -one, uh, advice was, was really wonderful. Excellent. Thank you so much for being with us here today virtually. This was such a joy to watch. I'm going to hand it over to Charlene now. Thank you. It's getting sleepy. Thank you so much to Dustin, Jillian, and baby Zoe, Steve, Amy, and Graciela. Thank you so much for being a part of this presentation as well. We're actually not quite done with Zoe's birthday just yet as a very big gift, if you will, to Zoe, given that she's celebrating her first birthday with us. I'm going to share my screen right now and I'm going to ask everyone to partake in this. I am. We have a, actually, let me first put on this music as well. Actually, let me first give the instructions before I give the music, change it. Um, we're making a word cloud for Zoe. Happy birthday, Zoe. What is your wish for Zoe? So if everyone can go ahead and pop into menti.com, uh, use the code 778027 and go ahead and include what your wishes are for baby Zoe. And while you're doing that, what's a birthday without a song? So let's get a happy birthday going too.
that your family receives this word cloud as well. I don't want to close it just yet because this is probably the question that is getting the most amount of responses. So we already have 470-ish people that have already responded. So thank you everyone for giving your happy birthday wishes to Zoe. I am going to stop uh, sharing my screen in just about 10 seconds so we can uh, move on with our agenda. That is so sweet. Thank, thank you. you. So thank much. you. That was really special. Yeah. Thank, you, thank, thank you, you so much for participating. With us. For spending the morning with us. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. This was fun. <laughs> thank you for allowing us to join in the celebration. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate you all being with us. Happy birthday, Zoe. Happy birthday. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank Bye, you. Bye, Dustin. Bye, Jillian. Great seeing you. Thank you. Bye.